In Tech Matters, GitHub's first government reselling partnership. This month, DLT Solutions announced they will provide GitHub Enterprise to their public sector customers. For more, I'm joined by Ben Balter, government evangelist, attorney, and open source developer at GitHub. Ben, let's start with the basics. What is GitHub Enterprise and how does it work? Uh, so GitHub is most well known for GitHub.com, the online software collaboration platform where more than 10 million users across 25 million projects collaborate on software. GitHub Enterprise is a clone of GitHub.com that government agencies can install behind their firewall in their own data center or in their own virtual private cloud. Now, government-wide acquisition contracts, or GWACs, have a lot to do with this partnership. I'd like to read an excerpt from DLT's press release. GitHub Enterprise customers will also have access to DLT's considerable portfolio of GWACs. For federal government customers, the contracts include SOUP5 and NIH CIO CS. Tell us more. Uh, so, as you, most people probably know, uh, government contracting is a very different animal than uh, the private sector works. And so, uh, when you, if you're a government agency trying to bring on modern software development practices, like you might find in the private sector or Silicon Valley, uh, there's a little bit of a language barrier. Uh, a government agency might try to procure an online public engagement platform, what you and I might call a website. Uh, so, by having someone in D.C. that speaks the language of government procurement, uh, we make it easier for government agencies to bring on best of breed software for development tools. Good idea, why wasn't this done in the past? Uh, government paperwork, uh, there's a lot of boxes that need to be checked, a bunch of T's that gotta be crossed and I's that need to be dotted. Uh, we've gotten a lot of feedback from customers that uh, what a procurement might have taken uh, three or four months to go through the various paperwork and certifications that need to be done, uh, whereas today we can turn around a procurement in the same day or, or a couple days at most. DLT is one of many value-added resellers. By partnering with one company, does GitHub risk alienating others like Kerasoft, Mythics, or Iron Bow Technologies? Uh, we chose DLT because we thought there's a really great opportunity for our customers. Uh, DLT has a strong background in open source, selling products like Red Hat, uh, and also has a package of tools for developers, uh, DevOps, as we call it in the industry, uh, with things like Jenkins for continuous integration, uh, so that DLT uh, could become the one-stop shop for government agencies looking to bring on uh, a private sector software development workflow and pipeline into their agency. Now Ben, FedScoop looked at this partnership. The author raised an interesting question. Why would agencies want to use GitHub Enterprise when the standard version of GitHub is so popular? There are more than 100 repositories and thousands of federal users. So how would you answer that? Uh, so GitHub.com is used by thousands of government agencies for public engagement, uh, to work with software developers out in the open uh, to make government software better. Uh, but not all government software is ready to be open source. Uh, so for government agencies that are, have specific compliance requirements, uh, for whatever reason cannot trust the cloud or shared tenant environment with their code, uh, government enterprise allows them to install it behind their firewall uh, or in data centers like Amazon, GovCloud, or Azure, uh, where they can meet certain requirements requirements such as FedRAMP, FISMA, or HIPAA and integrate with their existing identity management systems. Let's take a step back for a look at the big picture. Do overly complicated federal regulations make partnerships like this necessary, meaning DLT and companies like them know the system, GitHub avoids a lot of paperwork, and everyone's happy. Is that about right? Uh, I mean, from my own experience as a government technologist trying to buy private sector tools that were mainstay in the private sector, uh, the government procurement system is optimized for battleships and aircraft carriers, but that system doesn't scale down. Uh, GitHub.com is mostly free or starts at $300 per Per year, uh, and you can't spend a three or four month procurement only to buy $300. So, uh, working through DLT, through GWAX, and, and hopefully through soon things like Schedule 70, uh, we'll be able to bring down the barrier to entry for agencies looking to bring on GitHub Enterprise and GitHub.com. Good deal. Ben Balter with GitHub. Thanks for being with us, Ben. Thank you very much for having me.